Okay, I'm going to teach you what my nurse taught me about how to reconstitute dry material in a sterile vial. What I start with is this is my sterile vial and it usually will have material at the bottom of the bottle. In this case, I'm just using an empty bottle because this is just an example. But if this was, I'm doing it for real, then there would be material in the bottom of that bottle that is dry. This is my bacteriostatic water or sterile water that I use. You simply remove the aluminum that's on the top of it or it's a, it's a cap that you pop off, okay? And then what you want to do is you want to make sure that they're sterile. So I open up my alcohol swab and I sterilize the bottles. Now also you want to make sure your hands are clean when you do this. Now I'm going to assemble my needle, okay, and remember you want to maintain a sterile process. So I open up the package, take the needle out. You don't want to touch the end of this or let anything touch it because that's where the sterile material goes. I'm now going to open this package carefully by open like this and I hold it with my fingers on the bottom once again the end here is what's sterile I'm going to assemble it by just touching it and then you rotate you screw it in okay now I can fill my bottle up alright so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take fluid in this case I'm going to put five cc's or five milliliters of fluid in here because that's what the recipe says okay to put five in so I'm going to use the sterile water take the cap off I'm going to put five milliliters of air in here. I'm then going to put into the bottle. I'm going to slowly put the air in. I'm going to invert and then slowly let the water go into the syringe and I'll have to draw it in and I go right down to where the the line on the syringe is right on the five. If you're worried about bubbles you can get them out okay but it's not as critical because it's not being injected into somebody. Okay so now it's ready to be put in here. This you want to go slow. You, you go, see this circle there? You go right into the center of the circle. And if this bottle has got a negative amount of atmosphere, it'll actually start drawing that fluid in. If it doesn't, then you have to slowly push it in. Do it slow. Let the water slowly go into the, the vial. And then what I do is I draw the syringe back up and then I take out the atmosphere. Okay, so I can maintain the proper amount of atmosphere in there. So now I'm done with the syringe. I can then disassemble it, toss this away, regular, put this with sharps the way you're supposed to. Now with this, you don't want to shake it because that will put all kinds of bubbles in there and, and, and everything. You want to just rock it back and forth and maybe roll it to let the material completely dissolve. All right. Then when it's done, you store it any way that you're supposed to for the particular material you have. The, bo the bottle of sterile water, that can just be tossed out because it's not needed anymore. And that's 